Admirals goalie Troy Grosnick. Can you put your finger on, or please put your finger on, what happened to turn this season around for the Milwaukee Admirals? You know, I think uh, it was one of those things that we had confidence all year, and whether it was like some injuries or call-ups or what have you, it was hard to get uh, some consistency in the lineup and uh, everybody playing on the same page. And, um, you know, we knew we had the, the skill and, and, and the team um, to make a run, and it was just a matter of uh, – getting all those pieces to fit together and uh, you know it's a close-knit group of guys that have some skill and uh, you know we just kind of had to bide our time there for a while obviously a little longer than we would have liked but uh, I think just all playing on the same page and, and really coming together was uh, was pretty key. So it's just a matter of getting settled getting the injuries through getting the call-ups the trade deadline all of that. Yeah for sure I think so um, I mean you know I think once you get a little bit of that consistency um, makes it easier to stick to the systems all the time and, and do the little things the right way for everybody else in the room. And um, it's just uh, something as simple as that. And I think uh, once it clicked, obviously uh, it's been good and uh, hopefully we can carry that on. It's been impressive though, 14 game point streak to close out the season. It starts uh, March 10th. So you've gone six weeks now almost by the time you play a playoff game without losing a game in regulation. That's, that's pretty special. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I think, uh, you know, it, it's it's one thing to make it into the playoffs. It's it's another to make it in uh, feeling good and, and being hot. And, uh, you know, we, we've kind of talked about it a little bit. We just, uh, you know, kind of the same process, you know, obviously it's been working and um, stick to the plan day by day. And uh, hopefully that gets us to where we want to be at the end. The business like attitude has been part of the fun to witness. Has it been kind of part of the fun there? You you relish the win, but you're ready to move on and enjoy the win, but keep going? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I think that's what it takes to get on a streak. I mean, obviously it's fun winning, um, but at the same time, uh, we we always want more, right? And, uh, you know, it's 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 one of those things that it's, it's kind of felt, you know, even in different situations in a game, you know, maybe we'd, we'd give up an early goal, whatever. It, it's just, we're sticking to the process and playing our game. And uh, we're pretty confident that when we do that, uh, the results will be there at the end. So, um, you know, when you have that kind of confidence, it makes it a little bit easier to just stick to, to the business-like uh, mentality, I feel like. We've talked a lot about you being from Milwaukee and playing for the Milwaukee Admirals, but what is it like being from Milwaukee and now playing for a playoff team in Milwaukee? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely special. Um, same thing playoffs are always fun and uh you know it's even uh, even better to do it in your hometown so hopefully uh you know my mentality is not going to change same guy just go out there stop a few pucks and um let the other guys put a few pucks in the, in the other net and hopefully we uh score more than they do this iowa team has uh kind of had your number although you beat them pretty well the last time you met a, a little over a week ago uh, the truth is in there somewhere. Where Where is the truth and what do you expect from this series? Yeah, pr truth is probably somewhere in between, you know. Um, I think they caught us on, on a few good weekends for them to catch us. And, uh, you know, obviously we caught them when we were hot and uh, they were slumping a little bit. Um, obviously, if, if you make the playoffs, you're a pretty good team. So um, I think the truth is somewhere in between. And, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get that figured out uh, over the next week. Very good. It's going to be fun. For sure. Thanks. Good luck. Troy Gross next.